Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Okay, Cancer. Thank you for all the love and support you showed in the channel. I really do appreciate it. This reading today is about what lesson am I working on right now? Like what's going on? Okay. So any, let's just see what's going on. The lesson you working on, you could be already going through this lesson, have already went through it, but what is it teaching you or what is it meant to teach you? Okay. So you can get a little uh, clarity about what's going on. Uh-oh. Patience. I accept everything happens in divine timing. So your biggest lesson is surrounding patience, being patient while things unfold. It says divine order. So you, it's all about timing for you. Look at that. The Phoenix. Wow. Okay, let's get started. So you go into, you finna enter into a new phase of uh, cancer with these two coming out. And so, um, a lot of growth and transformation, you could be in a transition. So having patience and while everything, uh, um, while every, every, you could have lost a lot. So this is having patience while everything grow. Look at, as I split the deck, we got the fives of a source and the seven of pentacles. So I'm going to shuffle the deck a couple times and then we're going to get started. That means you've been waiting a long time. And look, I just seen the um, temperance. Let's see what's going on, uh, Cancer. Present situation, the three of cups. Hold on. With the golden mirror. So there could have been a one-sided relationship or just being around people or just something in general where things were one-sided and that's where it's at right now and this is about being happy overcoming that okay what's crossing you your immediate challenge is the ace of swords with the separation just understanding why things have to happen the way that they are especially with the separation card and having patience until you could be wanting a reconciliation with someone and just wanting things to work out or come back together come back together with someone or just in some area of your life and this is seeing the truth why the understanding was the problem is you understanding this process with the patient card and the Phoenix rising and just because it does has unsure of the future. Okay. Distant past, we have the queen of swords with unconditionally loving kisses. So something given and receiving, maybe you had to cut something out of your life because you wasn't receiving love or just you wasn't receiving the things that you needed at the time or just felt like it was one-sided we have that here and here so this was about leaving it alone because and so so things can balance out and then recent past we have the death card that's a transition Ooh, and stats in the back so in the recent past something came to an end and you felt like it was like a shocking attack some a, a stab in the back but you were ending that so um things could begin again Let's see what we have. Best outcome is the nine of pentacles being okay. okay while things look at that, why, why you rebuild, that's the best outcome is rebuilding yourself from the ground up. That's, we see that with the Phoenix when that's what you've been working on. Okay. Your best outcome is a finding reach that destination. Like every, all the hard work you put in with that seven of pentacles. Um, this is about it all coming together. That's what you truly, truly want. Immediate future. We have the two of wands. Let's see why this is here. And we have stability, security, permanence, growth. So in the immediate future, you may be kind of like at a crossroads with how to move forward. How do I get this stability? How do I move forward? How do I grow? It seems like that's what it seems like you are at a place where you trying to figure out what actions needed to be taken to get to this final destination, your best outcome. Okay. Let's see factors affecting the situation is needing to heal, get clarity, understanding, or just having that time alone. So maybe whatever, if this has something to do with a relationship or anything, you're in the healing process. That's why things are at a pause. And this is about just being okay with the girl talk, being okay with where everything is. This card talks about time alone, needing that time alone, moving on happily single living in the moment. So maybe you looking a lot into the future with the two of wands. And this, this is saying that um, your factors is that you need to stay present. <clears throat> Ex external influence would be judgment with union. So this could mean, huh? 
We have the seven of swords as an overall energy. That could be a lack of understanding. It could be lies, betrayal, deceit, but it also could be strategy, being strategic. The seven of swords mean a lot more than just lies, betrayal, deceit. But as this as an external influence, this could be the divine. It's, with this card, the phoenix, uh, the this could be something dead and gone rising to the surface. And that's what the patience, this seems more like things coming together in divine timing is the message. So you, you are in the process of allowing things to happen, okay? That's the biggest message here. Hopes and fears that you might want to, <laughs> you're just tired, okay? And it's just like, I want this cycle to be over. I'm trying to press or veal, but you, uh, and you hoping to heal from this situation, hoping to keep going, but you fearing that it, it, it just will never end. And that's the biggest message that I'm getting. Your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady, but you get into your destination. And this is, could be someone coming in with an offer. This could also be you attracting, going after what you want, attracting the things that you want. Okay. Let's see what's at the bottom of this deck. Receiving what you need, progress, progression, arriving, moving on. So things are moving and you will be receiving what you need in the process. But the, I think it's a lot of confusion around here. You got seven, seven. So it's some type of pattern or just like a something spiritual you were learning with the two sevens there. Whatever it is, is that although things are moving slow, you will get the, get to your destination, okay? Or someone will come in and make an offer. Let's see. Oh, I'm give, about to give you the wrong cards. Let's get some more information, Cancer. Looking deeper. So it's a deeper, uh, deep within me is majestic radiance. It's a looking deeper into the situation will kind of give you the answers you need. That's probably why uh, you need to meditate, especially here with this pause. Take time out to meditate to get the answers you need. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else is going on. Wonders. Look at that. You do, you're doing a lot of healing in the process, Cancer, with that coming out. Look, the truth. It, you're going to find out that things are better than you think. Because you may be here thinking the worst with this seven of swords, but if you have patience and allow this growth process to happen, things are going to work out. It may be going slow, but the, the you know, the knight of wine, the knight of pentacles is that card of, um, perseverance is slow, but it's, it's consistent. Okay. Spiritual connection is definitely could be a connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Who else got this card? I think Scorpio got this card also. But this can be, um, if this is a relationship, it's something that's beyond this lifetime. This is something you guys were working on in the last lifetime. If this is like not a relationship, it's just a particular situation. This could be saying like this is something you were working on in past life or something that stems from past life. Okay. <clears throat> and look, I'll shuffle, but look at what's at the bottom of the deck now. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So that's the message I have for you, Cancer. I hope it helps. Bye.